What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Fruits Basket, this time of season 2, episode 15. Looking forward to seeing what we got in today's episode after the last one was another absolute banger. Uh, especially love Yuki and Harry's relationship last episode, always being there for each other. Uh, we also got to see a little glimpse uh, more of Rin um, and her feelings towards uh, Harry. Um, again, still lots unexplored about her, so I can't wait to get into um, a kind of deep dive into her character. Uh, we also got this really nice moment at the end of the episode with Kyo coming back and helping Toru out. Uh, Toru again thinking about her father a little bit um i think some memories are kind of popping up I'm, I'm really excited to see more about her father as well as he's definitely a very interesting uh topic which again we haven't really explored in the series so far so i uh, very much can't wait for that make sure you let me know what you guys think of this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions let's get right to the episode guys three two one go guys Yeah, I can imagine she understands a little bit. She must be well acquainted with the parents of the uh, of the Soma family. So she is actually coming. Interesting. I'm guessing she doesn't want her mum to come, which I, I agree with. <laughs> I shall do my best to meddle. Yeah, it'd actually be more fitting for him to actually do it by himself or with another person, because then he'd actually get to choose his own future, I guess. Is Tori's way of thinking there, maybe? Does very much seem like she's very opposed to Akito, doesn't it? We get to listen to this banger again. Again, this was one of the ones I wasn't too impressed with when I first heard it and watched it. Oh, this is actually amazing, isn't it? Yeah, funny how much it changes for me when I actually watch the show. Sometimes it's the opposite as well, of course. This little Yuki, little Kyo. I really need to listen to the full version. I haven't downloaded this yet. It's such a warming song, isn't it? Yeah, I haven't actually downloaded the full version yet. I heard that came. Nice to see their relationship still going well. I imagine that sounds good to a lot of people. <laughs> oh, so that's, uh, that's her mum. She looks really nice. Oh, God. So he did come. <laughs> and he got his wish. That's a very much facade, isn't it? But yeah, it's not about sugar, eh? <clears throat> Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> You'd be too lucky for that, man. Yeah. Pretty crappy way to propose, isn't it? A bit of an awkward way to propose during a parent student meeting. <laughs> Sounds horrible when you put it like that. Diamond or Duster. That's what they mean by that. There's a, there's that bleach movie called Diamond Dust something, isn't there? I haven't seen it. I guess that's what that means. Chitty Breeze. Oh god. What is this about then? <laughs> Look at those hands. I wonder what they're talking about. Maybe Hattori? Oh, is he now? Funny that she noticed that. <laughs> yeah, that would have been quite awkward, actually, wouldn't it? Now he said that. Quite lucky he didn't. This is what they spoke about. A roundabout way of saying treat her well <laughs> from in there. That didn't go too badly. There was a faded out picture of her dad. All in that box locked away. That like, show. Who was that with a flannel over her face? Or whatever that was. Maybe that was her father's dead body. Yep. A little return of the favour.
Questo è da sé. No, Hannah might be able to help us out with this. That she showed. Nice. Nice, his actual father came. <laughs> his real father. Not that prick we saw earlier. Yeah, maybe Hannah might be able to give us a read on Chigaray at some point. <clears throat> and that's how it ends. <laughs> Yep. I was going to say, it's quite funny that having a meeting about his future when he could potentially just be locked up forever. That's also quite a powerful message that him and Shisho went to this, so that they're thinking about the future. <laughs> look, how, uh, look how impressed Thorib is. Well, it's not his real child. Gonna make the most of it. This is mom. Actually, quite funny. I saw a uh, clip on the YouTube Shorts about this guy calling up his mum, saying that he got a big donation. I was just saying, "Nice, I don't care, bye." Reminds me a little bit of this. Horrible to watch. That was. Here she is. Look at his face. No emotion at all. Or if anything, bad emotions. Just feel feet. Ah. Great listening skills. Oh dear. <laughs> <coughs> Bitch. <laughs> it looks like he's getting a little bit ill, maybe. Waste time, eh? Kindly, hey. What in the world? Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say, May may be able to help here. Yeah, she is. Very stupid. Oh, 
or bitch. It's almost impossible for him to be selfish right now, considering he can't even voice his own opinion. How could you when you're literally almost obstructed by this woman from saying your own opinion? You get treated like your opinion's worth nothing. Wow, that has some great listening skills. Some great listening skills. It is. Wow. <laughs> That's our answer to that. I was going to say, it is almost like she is the, he is the upcoming potential leader rather than her son. An absolute monster. No, I don't blame you, man. Bro! Hey! This is the guy who should have came originally. <laughs> he should have taken over for his mum. Let's go, man. This guy is definitely not afraid to give his opinion. And see, he's actually feeling happy he's here. Oh god. <laughs> Why is his mum so frightened of him? I mean I'm glad. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Well said. Well said. I don't I don't think she's right there. No. Look what he's done for this situation. It's the very opposite of useless. <laughs> yeah, what kind of horrible mum would be sad to see this? Uh, are they even precious to her though? That's the question. It doesn't feel like it. Damn. And you say something like that, hard to believe again that she does give a fuck about any of them. But he's going to try anyway. Yeah, no, man. I knew he was a great brother. <laughs> she is quite a uh, quite a monster, isn't she? Probably love is now mutual. Look how happy he is for that. Just to be dependent upon it a little bit.
It feels a lot bigger. Well, she used to be. Done for. It's not the it's not the case now. So what do you want to do in the future then, Yuki? What is your choice? Okay. Nothing said. Let's go. He got it out. He eventually got his out his opinion, didn't he? To his mother. One on one. And there's the person that helped him through it. Even if he wasn't there. I think that just kind of shows that he doesn't exactly need her now, if you know what I'm saying. He's been influenced by her, and she's helped him. But he's on his kind of own path now, running away with a student council member. Well, I love this ending song as well, man. Sakura no Yoroni. But yeah, that was a great episode, wasn't it? Another big focus on Yuki today. There he is, Ayane. He was awesome today, wasn't he? The very quick shot of Horu's mum there. A little frog. Almost exactly polar opposites, aren't they, those two? Has Ko got one of these? Yes, and has he? I don't think I saw I don't think I spotted Ko in there. Could be wrong. Oh god. Oh really? Even she's? Oh, that's not. That's not what I was thinking. It was. There she is, and she's out. <laughs> One look at the situation, and she's out. These guys are having a little chat on the phone, are they? During a break. Ask him for me. Is that Keith's voice. Yeah, I don't actually think there's a cue. Oh, there is. It's really short though, again, isn't it? Just like um, Tori's mum's. Oh, well, yeah, maybe it's just because it's the first one I forgot. Apologies. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, again, really awesome episode today. A uh, big focus on Yuki um, and his future. Um, a big focus on, for me anyway, what I got out of this episode was his kind of inner opinion and inner thoughts and his struggle to get them out. Um, I very much feel the same, uh, same way. 
I imagine a lot of Japanese people do. I do get told, uh, of course, I don't really know because I've never been to Japan or anything, but um, a lot of Japanese people holding their own opinions and their own thoughts and stuff, uh, especially in public, is kind of silent on buses and trains, for example, um, and they don't want to release their kind of personal opinions and such. I'm not, um, again, I'm not 100% sure what the reasons and such is. Maybe it's just to be polite, uh, but I struggle with that sometimes as well, voicing my real opinion if I'm angry at some uh, bad decision or something, um, but it, it will affect someone negatively or hurt someone a little bit, or if I, um, or if it could, again, potentially do that, um, I will most likely not say anything and just kind of keep quiet, um, which is a, a weakness to my personality. Um, so again, so it's a strength and it's a weakness. Again, I want to be nice to people. I want to be people to treat me nicely and I want to treat other people nicely, but um, sometimes things need to be said, even if they do sound harsh. So um, it's a bit of a double-edged sword in that in that respect. And I can definitely relate to Yuki in that situation. Of course, Yuki's situation is a whole lot uh, more tough than saying your opinion on the bus, for, <laughs> for example, isn't it? Um, it's years of kind of getting oppressed by your mother and having her as this big looming figure over you um, and making your opinions feel very insignificant in the weight of her opinions. As Again, she's the one that feeds you. She's the one that means so much. And um, if she wasn't there, your life would most likely be over or that's what he was thinking like anyway. So um, you can definitely see how his kind of opinions and such got suppressed over time. Uh, that one opinion to get him into the school was very lucky that he actually um, made his way to that opinion and to get that change uh, so he could actually join this. Uh, I can't remember what she called it, obscure school. <laughs> um, again, very lucky that he did. If he didn't, he might just be um, his, his life plan set up from his mum. So that was uh, that was the kind of start, I imagine. Uh, well, st the start was the hat wasn't it let's be honest uh, the hat putting on uh, Tori's head re ages ago which we've only seen in flashbacks but we saw the influence Tori had on him um, and the way he uh, the way he spoke to his mum at the end there was great gave, giving his full opinion to her uh, one on one again realising that actually she's just a small woman that now I'm grown up now that I'm almost an adult I can take care of things myself my own opinion is my own opinion and I can act on that as I can which I wasn't able to do in the past it was uh, again just really awesome again I've been loving the focus on Yuki in today's episode his brother Ayale was absolutely awesome today he came in just at the right time um, I know I love the guy um, there's not too much in the show up until this point to say that he's this really really awesome character but um, again I've just had this kind of feeling that he's just this really awesome guy and he is trying so hard and I think that's why I respect him so much because he is putting his all into it even though he does have these very kind of flashy very flamboyant <laughs> personality traits but um, yeah awesome episode today make sure you let me know you guys thought about this one down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these daily reactions i'll be back tomorrow with episode um 16 is it yeah episode 16 tomorrow so hopefully you join me for that one enjoy the rest of your day guys